five days post op. Oh my God, it's like a dream, right? You're like, thank the Lord you came in early. But whatever you see on that first day is going to tell you what potentially could happen, right? Not all doctors are created equal. Not all patients are created equal. Uh, people's bodies respond a little differently, right? And, and I know um, ethnicity plays, plays a role in terms of scarring and that kind of stuff. So he's five days post-op, his small finger. So we already know. So these are the things that are kind of going through your head, right? Zone two, no man's land. So in your mind, you should already be thinking, this is a hard area and I need to tell him as such. Along the way, I need to tell him as such that this is a hard area and this is called, no, I always say it's called no man zone for a reason. I always say that when you, when you cut what's called a zone two, um, you cut both tendons usually, right? What else is going on in zone two? I always, I'm like, what else? What else is going in zone two? You touch the tip, why? Because you want to know if it's numb. Is it numb? Because it's the, the PIP, right? If zone two, PIP, you're always thinking, could it be a digital nerve? Do you have numbness? Do you have numbness in the tip of my, oh no. And this guy was great because he didn't have any pain. I'm like, perfect. You have no pain. So in your mind, like in your mind, you're already like, okay, dude's like, he's like this Russian dude. He's like tough as nails. Uh, uh, I can take it. I but know. I always think, okay, zone, you know, this guy has no pain, so I'm like, perfect if he has no pain in my mind i'm already thinking like yeah i want to be able to move him right i'm going to be able to move him faster because he's got no pain no man's land i'm already thinking i want to talk to him about how difficult this is so don't bullshit me don't tell me you can't come to therapy i need commitment right i'm not a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of girl i need some commitment you this type of injury takes work I know that it looks like it might not be that hard it looks like it's only one finger and you still got it attached to your body so you might think that it's not that bad but this is called no man zone for a reason and it's because tendons if they get stuck you're going to need another surgeon one of the things that I want to help you do is to prevent it if you if you um, are too aggressive because you think this is nothing, you can tear your tendon, right? You can rupture your tendon, and that's going to most likely require two surgeries because you have to have the, the grafting, um, you know, with the rod placement, and then, then they do another one, then you have to wait so many months. So I'm trying to avoid more complications because I don't want you to think that you can do stuff. And I don't want you to not do anything because if you don't do anything, you need one more surgery. I must have mentioned it in the hour that I worked with him, like six times. By the end of the session, he was like, I'm not going to rupture it. I'm not, it's not gonna get stuck. <laughs> so, but I like on that first day, like I drill it in, I drill it in. Numbness. So he came in with a post-op dressing that was like this. So he was unfortunately ulnar deviated, flexed, and then this was his finger, right? Now he was in a, probably about 20 degrees of flexion. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, was it intentional to be flexion or sometimes, you know, they just get casted that way. Well, he came in and he, I was like, oh, do you have any numbness? No, no, no. So if he doesn't have any numbness, and I, I mentioned, I said, well, I didn't see anything about a digital, like a nerve repair. Do you remember hearing anything about, did you cut the little nerve on the sides of your finger? Cause that's what's gonna cause some of your numbness. 
And he said, no, I didn't cut the nerve. Like I have full sensation. Perfect. I don't need to worry about keeping his finger in flexion because he's five days post-op. The small finger already, I'm telling myself. So if it's a zone two, he cut his um, um, superficialis and he cut his profundus, right? So it's the profundus here where I'm not allowed to block, right? So that's just a little key indicator in my brain. I'm not gonna be blocking the small finger and all that good stuff. So his finger came in really fat and it came in like this incision. So you can always tell the incision, it's like zigzag, but it went all the way down his palm. So that told me that when he cut his finger, his um, tendon retracted down a little further and usually they have to find it. Sometimes when they find it, they just do a little cut like this and then they go searching for it, but he might not have been able to find it. So the, the incision is like much longer. So the bigger the wound, you know, the thicker the swelling, I start thinking wound care, right? Wound care. I start thinking about the quality, um, quality of his repair but also his potential recovery right quality and then I think about potential I am such a terrible speller all right so I make his splint